the queen has three secret communication methods. I summarize this into three sections, P, A, C. The first communication method she has is T. She communicates with time. The way she does is she makes sure she's always on time. With being on time, she's communicating to us that she respects our time so she will not take an extra minute of being late. And by doing so, she saves all her time because no one will dare to be late. So she gains respect, she saves her time, she saves our time. Win, win, win situation. You can use this to your advantage as well. So in today's environment, a lot of people are late one time or another. If you are able to just be on time every single time, your friends, your manager will know you as someone who is on time. Discipline, response responsible, trustworthy, and you are the next person to be promoted because you are trustworthy. So use this to advantage. The second communication method is communicate with attention. The queen's mother once told the queen that if you find someone a bore, the fault lies with you. So what she meant is always give the other person the attention and the curiosity. She gave me the attention. She asked me, how are you? She asked about me. So her simple question has touched me so much that I became her ambassador for a lifetime. So you can use this to an advantage as well. When you meet someone, anyone, later during the break, walk around, talk to someone, ask that someone a question. Be curious about him. Always assume that that person has something in his mind that can benefit you. Talk to him, ask him things. And in return, who knows? You'll get a friend for a lifetime. The third communication method, C. The queen changes the way she communicates. See, the queen has been in reign for 70 years. And the people she worked with are the 15 prime ministers of UK and the 13 US presidents. From one extreme to the other extreme, from Winston Churchill, the man, the same man who said, I have nothing to offer but blood, sweat and toil. Someone so serious. To the other extreme, Donald Trump. I leave that to your imagination. And she has to change the way she communicates through all these decades. In recent years, our attention has been so difficult to grasp that she has to play a skit with Paddington Bear to get our attention. She has to jump off helicopter to catch our attention. And in even more recent years, she heard that we are hiding in a place talking to each other called social platform. And she opened her own Twitter account just to connect with us. So you can use this to your advantage as well. For example, if you're a parent, maybe consider opening a TikTok account. Watch what your kids are watching. Sing the songs they sing. If you're a businesswoman, maybe open a YouTube short account, create social media videos, sell your product, and allow your customers to like you back and buy from you. Of course, if you want to be a better speaker, there's something called speechcraft. So to summarize, the Queen's communication method, she communicates with time, with giving attention, and she communicates with change. I'm not saying that if you can embrace this method, you become the Queen or the King. But if you can embrace this method, you become a better version of yourself. And at the same time, by doing so, you allow the Queen spirit to live through you. Long live the Queen in us. Thank you.